it was uh, it's always always good to finish up camp uh, uh, ready to uh, line up across from somebody else rather than your own teammates. Um, it's been a good camp. Uh, guys have worked really hard, uh, and guys are very focused on our on our theme of never enough and uh, and getting back to uh, the things that we've accomplished in the past and building on uh, beyond that. So it's been a good camp. The guys are are pretty tired right now. They've worked hard this camp, and so. Uh, They'll have a couple of days off of practice, and we'll get back at it on Tuesday. Um, uh, so they're they're ready for a little little rest and relaxation, and and get that body recover, recover and get ready for Grandview. We did a lot of different situations uh, today. Uh, you know those situations. Some some of them that come up in every game. Some of them that you never know when they're going to come up. So uh, end of game, running a clock out. Uh, we did that uh, against each other. Um, hurry up, field goals. Uh, blue zone, which most people call red zone, we call blue zone situations and uh, uh, hurry up end of a game situation. So just different things like that um, uh, against each other. I was good. And then we gave our, our young guys uh, some good reps with our threes and fours. Uh, so they, they, they had really had the bulk of the scrimmage time today. Yeah, uh, it actually changes pretty significantly. One, you have less time. Um, two is you're not going against each other so much. You're going scouts and you're, you know, in, in uh, game planning, preparation kind of stuff. Um, and so that's changed a lot. And then you don't get as much technique work uh, during the season because time is such a premium as you get um, in the preseason. You know, really this week with nine practices this week, this is the week that we challenge them at the beginning of the week that you've got to work hard to become an expert in your particular area because you get more technique work this week than, than probably most of the season combined. And so that's a big change. And then you just kind of get into the season cycle uh, of things. Um, you know, we were talking about after the scrimmage here this afternoon about, um, okay, now is weekend. You can relax a little, get off your feet, uh, get rested up. But then, you know, come Sunday night when we start our meetings, uh, that we start building for Saturday. And you, you just, as a football player, you get into that, that routine of, of building up to the peak on Saturday and then putting yourself out there completely and then, you know, resting, relaxing on Sunday and then restarting that build uh, on Sunday night. So our guys need to start that. That clock needs to be ticking right now and getting ready for next Saturday. You get, you get this point in camp, um, you know, every year that I can remember being involved in football is it, the end of camp becomes managing the injuries because you've got guys who've got little things that you don't want them to become big things. Um, and so the advantage is then you get some other guys who get more reps, uh, but you got to make sure they don't get injured too from, from just overuse. And uh, uh, so managing all that is critical. You know, in today's scrimmage, we had to be real smart about how we were setting up our reps and when guys were getting reps, when they weren't, because we want to make sure that uh, we're 100% ready to go heading into next week.